Hello, 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 hello. How are you doing, my student? Good. This is Dr. Sami, the chemistry headmaster. And uh, today we want to prepare another gas. Remember, in one of my previous uploads, we did prepare oxygen. Today we are preparing another gas called hydrogen gas. And again, this is our form one work. This is under hydrogen, and that is water and hydrogen. So with that, the apparatus I'm using, I'm using a dropping funnel. I'm having a flask that is a round bottomed flask, even a flat bottomed flask can do. Then I'm having a trough with some water. Again, a beehive shelf that will support the gas jar. Yep, so this is the gas jar that will help me collect the gas. Good, those are the apparatus. I'm going to use two reagents and generally when a metal reacts with an acid we get a hydrogen gas as one of the products therefore i just need to choose two one metal and an acid that are appropriate not any other that are appropriate so with that for today i will use hydrochloric acid and that is called the hcl the concentration there is one molar and I'm going to use a metal, zinc. So this is zinc metal. This is zinc metal. And uh, in addition, I will use a copper 2 sulfate. This will be my catalyst to help to speed up the reaction. So let me try now to do uh, the, 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 the preparation itself. I'm going to have some zinc powder. I put some zinc powder into the flask. I'm going to put some zinc powder into the flask. Yep, yep, yep. Allow me just do it carefully because one thing with the chemistry, you need to mind the apparatus. Because they are made of glass, you only need to be very careful. So, I will place some zinc powder inside there. Some zinc powder, I can put enough of it. Enough of that. Then, uh, I'm going to add a spatula full of the copper 2 sulfate. Copper 2 sulfate will act as my catalyst. So for this one, I just need a little. I just need a little, just a little bit of it. That will serve the purpose. That will serve the purpose. It will act as a catalyst to speed up the reaction. Then I will place back the, the the setup there I'm going to do uh, I fill the gas jar with some water I will have it full with some water yes then I close it just to help me overturn it and then uh, I let it be supported by the B half shell and I'm ready to go I'm ready to go. Good. Remember, human is to error. So, but I'm not expecting to make any mistake here. Um, I know the gas will be produced. Sorry for that. I need to place the acid. I need the acid here. That's why I told you man is to error. I don't know whether it is the same with the women, but that guy said men. Or other man is to error. Let me see. Now I open the tap. I carefully open the tap. I run down. Yes, I can see some bubbles. I can see some fumes from this side. Good. The first bubbles has been collected. Another one. So that tells me I need to add more acid. So I continue. I continue adding the acid. Continue adding the acid. Yes, you can see some bubbles bubbles of a colorless gas are being formed i'm just ensuring that my setup does not have a leakage so you can see gas is being produced i keep adding the acid I'll keep adding the acid. Generally, you can see the reaction is slow. 
that's why I needed the copper two sulfate to speed up the reaction. But a gas is being produced. My gas jar is almost full. Remember this method of gas collection, we call it over water method. And uh, the over water method, we use it for gases that are uh, insoluble in water, or we can say they are slightly soluble. So with this, my gas jar is full. My gas jar is full. I only need to be careful with hydrogen because the way to test the hydrogen. So I need a burning split. But before I do that, I need to remove it. I just need to remove it. I remove, oh, I remove the gas jar I cover. Remember, hydrogen is a very light gas. I hope it will not backfire. So I light a burning splint. A burning splint. I make sure I have a burning splint. Then I lower it in. You can hear some boom. Yep, it has disappeared. <laughs> so what has happened? I was also scared. I almost jumped out of my skin. And uh, the burning splint has gone off. And a pop sound has been produced. That is the test for hydrogen gas. And I'm not even intending to do it again because I'm still scared, I'm still shaking. And uh, one precaution you should have, because for this case, uh, I was cautious, I even expected the, the pop sound. Fall a form one, and in any case, you're not supposed to prepare too much hydrogen in the laboratory, because a mixture of hydrogen and air burns explosively. So that's the source of the pop sound. Then uh, we can uh, discuss briefly what were the physical properties? Hydrogen gas that I prepared was colorless. It had no smell. It was insoluble in water. We usually say it is also uh, tasteless. Uh, hydrogen is a very light gas. Uh, for this case, we collected it over water. In case we needed it dry, we could have passed it through a drying agent, for instance, concentrated sulfuric 6 acid. Uh, then we collect it by upward delivery whereby with upward delivery i'll have the delivery tube facing downward then the delivery tube uh, bringing in the gas coming from the bottom because the gas is very light it will occupy the upper part of the jar otherwise that method is also called the downward displacement of air because once the gas occupies the upper part the air that was inside is displaced back uh, downward it's a downward displacement of air all otherwise called upward delivery. So with that, we can think about the chemical reaction taking place in this container. The gas that was being produced is hydrogen. And how is it being produced? By the reaction between an acid and a metal. The metal displaces the hydrogen ions from an acid to produce a hydrogen gas. And of course, a salt solution is formed. So with this, my, uh, in this case where we were using zinc, zinc metal reacting with dilute hydrochloric acid, you get a zinc chloride salt and uh, hydrogen gas. So the equation is as you can see down there. In case you want to combine any other metal, you can, but be careful. Any metal that reacts with an acid to give you an insoluble salt will not be appropriate because the insoluble salt formed will cover the metal Hence, the reaction stops after a very short time. If it is nitric acid, again, you cannot use it. it generally, it's not advisable to use nitric acid. It's a very strong oxidizing agent. So it will oxidize the hydrogen gas to water, and therefore you not get your hydrogen. So with that, that is a simple experiment for the uh, preparation of hydrogen.